back. Let's get right off the phone lines. We got Jim and Altoona. How you doing, Jim? Yeah, so I'm calling about a couple of catchers the Pirates have. Stewart is uh, ridiculous for his uh, offensive mind. What's he have? Four or five RBIs and one or one or two home runs if he has that. Mm-hmm. But at least he shows up the catch where he got Savelli. Now they said he missed 82 games this year. Yeah, uh, something like that. Yeah, it's been bad. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, Stewart. I don't think Stewart. Bad. Anytime he gets a boo boo or whatever, well, he's off. I think he's got more than a boo boo, but. Yeah. Uh, Stewart, I don't think, will be back under any circumstances. They got Cervelli signed to a long-term deal, and the pitchers love him. They love him. He's very productive, I think, when he pit when he catches. But Collar's right. He's been injury-prone, and that's been a, the knock against him his whole career. Yeah. And I see him definitely back next year. Stewart, I don't think. Well, I don't, I don't even think they'd be able to – who's going to take on his contract? That's another big issue. Right. Um, you know, they signed him to a lot of money. And Diaz will probably be the backup, I would I – would, Think, I, I have not been blown would, away by him when yeah. he's gone up here. But he's, uh, he's one of their big prospects. All right, back out to the phone lines. We're going to stay out in Altoona. It's a big night in Altoona. We're going to go out with Rich in Altoona. How are you doing, Rich? Oh, good, Rich. And I have a question for you about the curve in a minute, but I want to say something about the Pirates. You guys are talking about what's wrong with the Pirates. Here you go. You got Ray Gil Polanco had the same injury three times this year. You don't know whether McCutcheon is going to be back. Marte's coming off a PED suspension. You don't have a steady third baseman. You got a revolving door at catcher. You don't have a good fourth and fifth starter. <laughs> That's going into the next season. You want to know what's wrong with the Pirates. If they were serious, they'd sign McCutcheon. Now, Rich, last night, you sat in that very chair on this program, and you said you didn't care about Altoona, you didn't care about Indianapolis, <laughs> but you cared about the Pirates. Well, the Pirate players of the future come from Altoona and Indianapolis, and we won a championship here tonight. I worked with the curve. It's a big deal around here. I wish you could have been here to see it. It was electric. Yeah, you Mitch know Tyler what? was out, like, outstanding tonight again, and he's going to get up to the Pirates someday, and he's going to go make some big bucks for somebody else because that's the way the Pirates operate. Hey, Rich, Thanks you know, I, no problem. And I don't want anyone to be offended in Altoona by what I said yesterday. I said I care you more about people the, all over the place. Yeah, I do. I mean, Twitter, Altoona, Indianapolis, St. Louis, you, Nashville. You, people you, just you hate me everywhere. You offend people everywhere. <laughs> I do, but now Altoona's going to hate me. But I didn't mean it that I don't really – I just said it because I care more what's going on with Pittsburgh than I do what's going on in Altoona. I would sacrifice them not winning a single game if it means the Pirates going to the playoffs, and that's what I meant by that statement with both, uh, with both minor league systems. Right. You need players you to do. come up through the system. You do, but I would give up all those players to have a chance to win a World Series this year. That's, what I, that, that's me. I mean – That's you. That's me. Uh, I, I, and that's not the Pirates' philosophy, but I would drain the minor leagues to, to try to trade everyone off. And what if you to, don't win? Then, then at least you went for it. Then you're done the next 10 years. Then you're done years, the next whatever. five years. But at least may, you of course, they might may be give done you anyway. years. They may be done anyway. So, you know, I, 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 I understand it, Altoona. It's probably a great atmosphere tonight. And, I, and, and look, I root for them. They're the Pirates' minor league system. And, but what I meant by that statement yesterday was that I – I would rather see the Pirates win than the Curve or the, the, the Indians do anything. That's what I meant by Rich. Please don't be offended. Let's go out to Al in Squirrel Hill. How you doing, Al? Yeah, uh, how you doing tonight, guys? Yeah, you know what? I just saw the new Pirates schedule, and I just want to make this quick. Every team starting on March 29th next year, we start off against Detroit and Minnesota here for the opener, okay? And this year, the World Series doesn't start till October 24th. I think they should cut the season down. There's a plan for 154-game season, have a three-game wild card, and you could have the series done by October 22nd, probably. I'll hang up and listen to your thoughts about that. Thank you. The teams don't want to give up eight gates, eight, eight, you know, that's yeah. paychecks. The owners don't want to do that. Players don't want to take less to play 154 as opposed to 162. I have a hard time imagining the schedule being uh, – squeezed i just don't see it yeah there's they get few days off as it is and it's and it's tough to get all those games in the amount of time um yeah i'd be for a shorter schedule but the owners like you said you know i always said that about Revenue hockey at stake. i don't think hockey should start into december um and that, and over by may they uh, start tomorrow yeah you can you that? believe that penguin you know, season. we were you, you were in nashville right yeah we're both in Nashville. It seemed like two days ago. <laughs> it, re- it was did. June 11th, and here we are three months later, and they're getting ready to go back at it. No wonder teams have a hard time repeating, let alone three-peating. It's amazing. 
And, you know, they, they seem to think that um, they have the team to three-peat. I do, too. They're favorites. Um, you know, we could talk about the Penguins tomorrow. We're running out of time today. But, um, yeah, they got a good team coming back. They're looking for a third-line center. They don't get them now. Get they, they have some time, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. All right, we got to take a break. Back to wrap things up coming up next. Stay right there. <laughs>